Researchers have uncovered 200 dinosaur footprints dating back 166 million years. Four of the tracks belong to plant-eating dinosaurs, with the fifth belonging to a nine-metre-long predator known as a megalosaurus. A worker at a quarry in England uncovered the tracks after discovering unusual bumps in the ground. Paleontologist Dr Emma Nichols worked on the find in an Oxfordshire quarry and says it's one of the largest dinosaur trackways in the world. Gary Johnson, um, now retired actually, quarry worker, um, found some in, uh, a few footprints, these huge um, 90 centimetre long bowls um, and got in touch with Oxford University Museum of Natural History with myself. Um, I'm the collections manager for vertebrate paleontology, so I look after the dinosaurs. Uh, and myself and my colleague Duncan Murdoch went along uh, to have a look. And then together with um, Richard Butler and Kirsty Edgar from the University of Birmingham, we put together this 100 person strong team to excavate as many prints as we could. And we uncovered nearly 200 prints over seven days. Uh, it, it was an absolutely incredible excavation. What does it say that there were so many prints uh, in such good condition in this area? So there are two different types of prints and they're going to be there for different reasons. Um, so one of the uh, types of print uh, was made by a herbivorous dinosaur uh, called a sauropod. The particular one is probably an animal called Cetiosaurus. Um, sauropods are those massive four-legged herbivores with the really long necks and the really long tails. Um, and there are, of the 200 prints, they form five different trackways. And four of those were made by these sauropods of different sizes, actually. So possibly of different age cetiosauruses, um, possibly uh, representing a different animal that we don't know about. Uh, but anyway, they will have been uh, walking across this mud flat, clearly going somewhere. There's not really vegetation to be eaten on a mud flat. So they were they were going somewhere. <laughs> the other type of print, uh, the fifth trackway, is very exciting. Uh, so that was made by a carnivorous dinosaur, a predator called Megalosaurus. And Megalosaurus is special for lots of reasons um, that I don't have time to go into. <laughs> um, but it was the first named dinosaur anywhere in the world. So this animal is where dinosaur science began and it was named in 1824 and we were digging up um, megalosaurus trackways in 2024 so we were digging them up in the bicentenary the 200th anniversary of the naming of megalosaurus and the reason that that animal was there i imagine was that it was following the herbivores well probably finding his lunch exactly why, tell me why is this such an incredible and exciting discovery so the tracks that have been uh, found link up to a, an area previously known for footprints called Ardley Quarry. And that's a really important uh, site um, because it shows, uh, to, again, two different types of animal, the sauropod and the theropod that I've just mentioned. Um, and it's, it's really well known scientifically um, because of its importance. It shows different things like the, the megalosaurus uh, speeding up, starting to run and then slowing down again. But that was excavated in the 90s and uh, the digita digitization techniques uh, from the 90s are very different to what we've got now. So not only, and they're not accessible anymore. So not only are these prints really exciting because they link up to those prints that are really quite geographically far away in terms of an animal, um, but it forms the same trackway. But also we're now able to digitize those prints uh, to keep them in perpetuity. Um, and because of the size size of the trackways, what we've got now is the largest dinosaur trackway in the UK and probably the top five uh, largest dinosaur trackways in the world. Yeah, that's amazing. What does that tell us about this area and the ecosystem here 166 odd million years ago? It actually tells us quite a lot, um, but it's not just the dinosaurs that reveal information. Um, so the dinosaur uh, prints tell us uh, what kind of dinosaurs were there. It tells us um, about this potential uh, prey predator um, uh, dynamic, but also there are other things going on. So the depth of uh, the prints, the way that the prints are preserved, tell us about the environment. So if you imagine yourself walking along dry sand, compared to wet sand, the footprint you leave behind is going to be very different. Um, so we can actually tell that these animals were walking across a muddy 
uh, uh, sorry, um, a mud flat, a wet, a wet mud flat, um, and there was a shallow inland sea very close by. And the reason that we know that uh, is because the footprints have been infilled very uh, rapidly by uh, sediment from that sea. And the reason that we know that's how they were preserved so well. And the reason that we know it was uh, marine is because that water, that sediment has uh, sea creatures in it. So small se uh, small shelly animals from the sea are actually inside these dinosaur footprints. Wow. So what's going to happen to these prints? Well, that's a great question. So at the moment, um, they are still um, accessible, not to the public. It's a working quarry, uh, but they are still accessible to uh, the scientific team, myself and my colleagues. Um, and so we are continuing to study them. In the future, uh, there's a question mark. We don't know what's going to happen to them. But uh, Mark Stanway, the quarry manager, and uh, Smith's Bletchington, which is the company that own the quarry, are really excited about the trackways. They're really enthused and they feel very proud of them and that's very clear to us um, and so we're actually working with them and Natural England um, to try and work out uh, what can be done to preserve them in the future.